Hello guys, good day to all, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Mike Padua right here in Naga City, Philippines, bringing you the very latest on our tropical weather analysis for today, uh, Saturday to Monday, November 2 to 4, 2024, another weekend. And uh, this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And before we begin, we would like to let you know that today is the 27th anniversary of our website Typhoon 2000, which began November 2, 1997. And I hope my website continues to bring you uh, early warning when it comes to approaching typhoons ever since we started it as part of my passion since as early as uh, I was a child I already had passion in uh, observing uh, typhoons and uh, letting uh, my uh, uh, family and friends and a small community here in Naga City know, know if there's an approaching uh, system and uh, I'm happy that uh, I'm still here and will continue to provide you the very latest on upcoming system as far as I'm alive okay so no worries and uh, we have a great uh, entrance into November and since uh, uh, the passage of Christine we're still willing the after effects and slowly we are going back to normal okay and uh, classes in all levels is likely to resume November 11 since uh, Naga City is still in a major cleanup drive uh, due to this worst flooding that we've experienced during the past uh, 100 years it surpassed the 1990 uh, storms that generated also flooding here in Naga City in the coming days, I'm going to show you the, uh, the comparison of the uh, 1990s uh, uh, storms that also flooded uh, Naga City compared to uh, Christine, which is far away above the rest. Okay, and then uh, we're happy to tell you that we are now on the uh, dry phase of modern Julian Oscillation, which is expected to persist until November 20 and we expect below average rainfall but uh, still during uh, the dry phase of uh, mother June isolation we observe some tropical cyclone formation but they're quite uh, smaller in size midget which moves across the western pacific and sometimes affects uh, the philippine islands and also some are weak okay tdts but we are here to continue to monitor the western pacific and for the latest right now uh, we have uh, the latest graph set that we created yesterday. This is valid until Monday since we don't have any uh, significant uh, weather system. Here's the uh, uh, once tropical storm Conway or Leon. It has become a frontal system or transitioned into an extra tropical cyclone. It's currently here to the east of uh, uh, Japan right now, moving fast towards the east, northeast. It became a part of the frontal system and uh, we have a surface trough which has already departed this area and it's already here over the east coast of uh, Vietnam and we have here another LPA that formed during the past few days this is LPA 90W uh, currently it's a weak system but it's, it's trying to uh, organize during the past uh, 12 hours and for the latest uh, fascination from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page in the Himawari 9 satellite loop, you can uh, observe here 
increasing mid-level circulation, not yet the low level, which is very important in the development of a tropical cyclone. So we are witnessing a development in the mid-levels of the atmosphere around 10 to uh, 20,000 feet. And uh, we are going to observe this it, it, if it manifests towards the lower level of the atmosphere. If it does, this could become our next tropical cyclone. But uh, uh, models are forecasting it to track over the Philippine Sea, not affect it, affecting any land mass in the coming uh, uh, week for the next five days. And we are going to observe that uh, uh, mid-level circulation. And here's the uh, zoom-in satellite animation from windy.com. As of uh, 10 o'clock this evening, you can clearly see here a tropical storm-like uh, uh, form of this uh, uh, low pressure system. And we will continue to uh, observe this in the coming days. And for the wind and pressure forecast, based on the European model, for the next uh, five days, it looks like this low pressure system will continue to track towards the um, northwest in the general direction of extreme northern zone based on the various computer models. And it looks like on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, November 6, it will uh, interact with a uh, approaching northeast monsoon and it will uh, dissipate the system. But no worries when it comes to the uh, amount of rainfall. This is a small system. And since we are on the dry phase of the Madden uh, Julian Oscillation, MJO, it's uh, expected not to bring enough rainfall. And we have here a, a strong breeze, uh, likely around 50 to uh, 60 kph, blowing across extreme northern sun, part of the seasonal beginnings of the northeast monsoon. The rest of the country will remain calm, hot, sunny, good weather with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. So generally, uh, for the whole week until Saturday uh, or next Saturday through Sunday, it's generally uh, uh, peaceful across the country, except for that LPA. Here's the rain forecast for the next uh, five days. This is for tomorrow, Sunday, nothing much. Monday. Here comes now the uh, cluster, the cloud cluster, the rainfall pattern of that LPA, and it's moving up north, and it's not a threat to our country. Here's the uh, rainfall due to the northeast monsoon across extreme northern Luzon. Elsewhere, it's gonna be fine, normal conditions across uh, our country. So nothing to worry about, those LPAs or uh, depression, if it does develop, will not uh, affect us, our country. When it comes to the uh, wave heights across the Philippine uh, waters, here over the East Philippine Sea, wave heights here it will be light to moderate, uh, with heights up to 2 meters. Over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands, it will be calm to almost uh, a meter in wave heights. As well as here over the West Philippine Sea, it's gonna be uh, half a meter to about one meter in wave heights. And over here, over the Balintang and Bashi Channel, it's quite higher than two meters, up to 2.5 or the over the West Philippine Sea, east or uh, well, I mean west of uh, extreme northern zone. It's uh, very suitable for fishing and sea travel by uh, tomorrow Sunday and if we extend this until Tuesday there's uh, still same wave heights condition here uh, great for fishing particularly here over the inland waters but over extreme northern Luzon it's going to become rough again because of the arrival of the northeast monsoon it could reach a high of more than three meters okay that's uh, light to moderate to rough Okay, so please take all necessary precautions. Now for the uh, European model ensemble from Easterly Wave, and if we look at the weather nerds as well, we can clearly see here the uh, potential LPA. Uh, it might become a tropical depression or tropical storm. It depends on the wind shear, the amount of the oceanic heat content, the heat energy of the uh, Philippine Sea. 
And so we will continue to watch that uh, low pressure system. So far, it's pointing towards extreme northern Luzon within the next five to six days. So there might be changes in the track. So we will keep you updated on that. As well as the American model, same scenario. This is much, much, uh, uh, just, uh, they have, uh, the American model uh, has the same uh, track with the European model. So it looks like it will just uh, be a low pressure system or a tropical depression. So it depends if it does develop into a cyclone. But so far during uh, this time of the dry phase of the marriage isolation, there might be a formation of tropical cyclones, but these are midgets, smaller ones, not large enough, okay? And it will only bring uh, heavy amounts of rainfall if you are within the circulation of that smaller system. So we will let you know in the coming days if it does develop. By Monday or by Tuesday, we will give you the very latest on our Pacific uh, ocean on the uh, low pressure area that we are mentioning for the modern engineering oscillation we are now uh, into the dry phase you can clearly see here the philippine islands is somewhere here so we are free from any uh, heavy rainfall uh, for these uh, next two weeks okay november 1 until november 16 it's generally dry for us it might bring also some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, but it will not reach on the average level for the month. So that's the uh, latest and the good news for us since we recuperate, since we, uh, uh, since over, since we are slowly moving back to normal. Okay. So there you go. That's the latest for this evening of November 2. And we will return next week to give you the very latest on the weather uh, situation across the uh, western pacific and the philippine sea this is mike Pado, i saying good night to all happy weekend happy all souls day and uh we'll see you again next week god bless take care always and uh, uh thank you so much for watching our channel